SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. So my name is Andreas Ostendorf. Uh, I'm a full professor in the Ruhr University Bochum since last year. And uh, I've been 15 years before at uh, Laser Centrum Hannover, a non-university application-oriented laser institute, where I was in charge of uh, uh, micro-machining and, and uh, different other laser processing activities over the last 10 years. So my research work has almost been done with uh, micromachining and in lasers in micromachining, which is of course, as you can see from the last 10 to 15 years, a rapidly growing field and uh, which I can now have the opportunity to continue in Ruhr University Bochum. How is your research different at a university compared to an applications-oriented environment? When I was in uh, Hanover, at Laser Centrum Hanover, we were directly dealing with industry. We had uh, many projects together with industry, and the main direction of research has been determined by industry. Now, in university, we can decide by ourselves what we want to, dis what we want to make research on and in which direction we want to go. And, uh, yeah, let me say, um, there's not the, the pressure from industry, there's more freedom also on the long term. What are your thoughts about the young generation of researchers that you work with? Uh, they become much more international, so they fluently speak English, uh, partly better than I do, of course. They come from every part of the world, so it's not just uh, Europe uh, and, and America or North America, they come also from Africa, they come from China, they come from every part of the world and they work together f just from the beginning uh, and, and it's, it's a really a, a joint world and makes a lot of fun to work with those people. What are your primary areas of research now? I will still continue working on uh, uh, micro-machining and also nano-machining so how to beat the diffraction limit of lasers in micromachining, how to become smaller and smaller and smaller. Nonlinear interactions using femtosecond laser is one means uh, in this direction. Also we are working uh, now with particles, with resonances in particles, how to use these resonances in order to build microsensors, microactuators, so we can really make use of, of those particles not just as an interference effect, but uh, as a, a very positive, constructive effect where we can uh, make use of these uh, particular and, and unique opportuni uh, properties. What are the reasons for Germany's dominance in industrial lasers? I think it was uh, maybe 15 years ago when German government decided, together with industry and together with universities, to establish a research program specially dedicated to laser technology and the aim was really to catch up with US laser technology and in the end uh, it worked quite well as we can see today. I think this is an ongoing process still. We have uh, very interesting research programs and financed by German industry and uh, yeah this is I think part of the secret uh, how we could catch up. What are your thoughts on the need to modernize the German university system? I think from some aspects it needs to be modernized, it needs to be changed, it needs to become more international also and compatible to international systems. On the other hand, it has worked quite well in the past and if you look at the German engineer uh, education you will see that uh, uh, German engineers are well educated, uh, they know about basic research, they know about uh, application oriented aspects and so this is also part of, of the secret and part of the story how we uh, were developing laser systems also for industrial applications and this quite successfully of course. What advice do you give students who are trying to decide on a direction for their research? About 10 years ago I had the impression we have developed everything. Uh, there's no more progress anymore because we know everything about lasers, we know everything about the process, about the interaction of laser with materials. But uh, if you look back uh, 15 years or 10 years, you will see there has been continuously uh, new things and, and new uh, products developed, 
quite fascinating. Pulses have become shorter and shorter. Wavelengths have become shorter or even longer. And uh, this makes laser a very fascinating tool, which is really sustainable and not a come and go technology. So for the long term, we really see many more and many interesting applications for lasers as well. So for students, I can just recommend them uh, to, to go forward into laser technology.